Just one example in this video, and all we're doing in this video is we have a problem where we have a frequency distribution, but we've been missing frequency here. We need to find it, and then we have to go on and find the standard deviation. So in this question, it says, first of all, frequency table shows the age group uh, age of a group. If the mean age is 49, find the missing frequency. First thing we need to do before we can do that even is we want to find our uh, midpoint x. So we will start with that midpoint x. And remember, this is age is one of the special ones. So you're uh, 24 years old until the very second you turn 25. So the boundaries here really are 10 and 25. 10 plus 25 and divide by 2 is going to give you 17.5. Uh, 17 the next group is 25. Really, the boundaries are 25 to 40. 25 plus 40. Uh, it's going to be 65 divided by 2 is going to give you 32.5. The next group is going to be the boundaries are 40 and 55. 40 and 55 are 95. Divided by 2 is going to give you 97.5. And I'll just do the last two. They're going to be 62.5 and it's going to be 70, uh, 77. 77.5. Uh, we also will need to do our FX column to be able to find the missing frequency. So uh, your FX column, if you multiply these all out, so I'm doing 8 times 17.5 to give me 140. I'm doing 15 times 32.5 to give me 487.5. And then this one, if I call my missing frequency A, uh, I will have 47. 0.5 times a. The next one is back to numerical value. It's going to be 1,312.5, and the last one, 8 times the 77.5, is going to give you 620. Okay, we're now ready to actually find our mean. The mean, remember, the formula for the mean is sigma fx divided by sigma f. So what we can do then is we can work this work this all out and fill in what we know we're told in the question the mean is 49 so your sigma fx if you add up all the numerical things of your uh, sigma fx or in your fx column i should say you're going to get 2500 uh, 2500 and 60 sorry plus and you're going to get 47.5 a. And if you add up all your F's, uh, the numerical F's, then you're going to have 52 plus A. So that's what you've got. What you can then do is multiply across by the denominator. So the 49 gets multiplied by 52 plus A, which is going to give you 2,548 plus 49A is equal to 2,560 plus 47.5a. Bring all the a's to one side. So 49a minus 47.5a is going to give you 1.5a. And then you'll have 2560 minus 2548, which is just going to give you 12. And a wee bit of working out then, that is going to give you that your a is equal to 12 divided by 1.5, which gives you your a is equal to 8. Okay, next part of the question, and um, part two asks you just to find the standard deviation. So to find your standard deviation, uh, you can then just work all of that out. So we'll have an fx, fx squared column. So you have got your, uh, that's your f times your x squared. So if I just fill those in, that's going to be 2,450. This one is going to be 158. 43.75. We'll do the numerical ones, then we'll come back to our, our one with the A in it. It's going to be 82031.25. And then this last one's going to be 48050. Okay, how I've worked this one out then? This one is my F, which we now know is 8, times my 47.5 squared. So I work this one out to be 18050. 
Okay, what we need to do, have for our formula uh, is we need our sigma f. And remember, we know all of the rest of them. We know that what well, the, the dA is now 8. We need to have our sigma fx, and we need to have our sigma fx squared. So we need all of those uh, things for our formula. When you add up all your frequencies, so that's 8 plus 15 plus another 8, which is the, the new A, and then 21 plus 8, you will get 60. Okay, when you add up all of your f of x's, so it's uh, your fx column is going to be, well, we already know over here, this is what it was. So just put a into this would be the easiest way. So 2,500, 2,560 plus 47.5 times your 8. And if you do that, what I got for that is 2,940. And then I will just add up these numerical values. So I'm doing 2,450 plus 15843.75 plus 18050 plus 82031.25 plus 48050 press equals and what I have got is 166425 so you're now good to go with your formula so your formula remember is s is equal to sigma f x squared divided by sigma f minus and then it's going to be just your sigma f x divided by your sigma f and that is squared you could just write that as your mean squared if we've got the mean do we have the mean we have the mean we were told the mean was 49 so we'll use that so uh, we can just fill this in a lot easier to fill it in then that's one six six four two five divided by my sigma f which is 60 and minus my mean, which we have, were told was 49, it's squared, and then square root of all that, do that on your calculator, and you will get 19.31 years, and that was the two decimal places.